morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Brianna McLean. Local 3's Haley Schoengar brings a story of kindness from the Copper Country. It started with a Hancock Bulldogs football player interacting with a young Iron Mountain fan, but it was an email sent to the superintendent that returned the kindness. Here's the story in their own words. So it's really interesting. This this was uh, the week after the game actually happened, and I got an email that came to my email, and the email started out with, "I was looking for the the principal or the athletic director, but I just wanted to tell you something about what I witnessed at a game the other night." Well, anytime something starts out like that, you wonder, okay, well, what's next? And as we were leaving the stadium after the game, a player from your team, number 60, was walking out in front of us. I yelled for him. He turned around and my son approached him. Yeah, I was just after the game, you know, we have our typical meeting, talk about the game and what's coming up the next week. So I was getting done with that. I talked to my parents after the game. As I was walking out, a little boy came up to me, said, hey, what's up? I just talked to him for a little bit. I really didn't think much of it, but uh, at the time, but after, I guess, it meant a lot more to him than it did to me, so. He told number 60 that, and quote, sometimes we win and sometimes we lose, and it's okay to win and it's okay to lose. And your player spoke to him with respect and kindness. He asked him questions and laughed with my son. They gave each other a few high fives, and let me tell you, Sam's entire week was made. Three days later, he is still talking about number 60. My mom told me about it after the game. She's like, oh, that was really nice that you did that or whatever. But um, when I heard about it the next week, I was kind of surprised because I didn't think anything of it for the whole weekend. I just kind of went about my life and everything was fine. And then I got that email and I was kind of surprised at what she said and how much of an impact it made on Sam. So You know, we have moments in our lives in sports and all sorts of things, situations where if we take a minute to pay attention to someone, especially our youth, that thing could be so meaningful. Because in the moment, when you're having so much stuff going on, you take the time to give them that, that moment to them. And that means so much. And you know, we could talk about football and sports, and about how important it is. It's important to play, but it's also important to inspire others to play. And this was one of those moments. I mean, fewer and fewer kids are getting into athletics right now. but. Moments like this are going to encourage more kids to play and more kids to give back. And that's why it was so special. My husband and I were so unbelievably impressed with the compassion that number 60 showed. What a stand-up, honorable young man he is. We are grateful for him and his gentleness with our son. Please share with him how much we valued that small interaction. To him, it was probably nothing, maybe even annoying. But to us, it meant a whole lot. Thank you. Cheering for you from Iron Mountain. 